In Zanesville, Ohio, the police said today that all those exotic animals released from a farm have now been accounted for, but questions remain about the owner of that farm. Cynthia Bowers went looking for answers today. This is the compound. Law enforcement today revealed just how far the animals had roamed from their cages and how dangerous the situation had become. Sheriffs found and shot tigers and bears in at least three locations around the farm, here close to a neighbor, and in this area just yards from Interstate 70. A black bear was shot near a local road. Before he shot himself, owner Terry Thompson released 50 of 56 animals and damaged their cages to make it harder to pin them back up. Sheriff Matt Lutz also lane. said Thompson's body uh, had been mauled. That Mr. Thompson did have a, a bite wound to his uh, head area. Thompson did not leave a suicide note explaining why he took his life, but there are clues. These tax records indicate that last year he owed the federal government more than $67,000. A lien had been placed on his property and his wife had recently left him. Thompson had been cited nine times for allowing animals to roam free and had been visited by police 30 times since 2004. We understand there's people frustrated and disappointed and, and mad. We are. The six surviving animals, including leopards and a baby grizzly bear, being cared for at the Columbus Zoo. Ohio Governor John Kasich hopes to have a law in place that would outlaw sales and ownership of exotic animals by the end of the year. Cynthia Bowers, CBS News, Zanesville, Ohio.